Hello, and welcome to the 232nd edition of Beer Issues. My name is Matt Bruckert, and I'm coming to you live here from Casa de Bruckert. We're going to be having another very, very good beer. Today, we're going to be trying the Cigar City Brewing Frost Proof Belgian Style Wit. Okay? So now, my question is, is when they came out with this beer, is this just the same as the Cigar City Florida Cracker with a different name? I don't know. So I had to do some checking out. So I actually have not had this beer. And there are some differences in the beer, but there's also some, some similarities. So we'll talk about that. First of all, this beer rates an 86 out of 100, which makes it a very good beer. And I'm going to pour it into this beautiful Bruckert Tavern glass, pint glass. So let's go ahead and pour that beer. We're going to get a little bit of a, a strong pour in here to get all the flavors out of there and get a nice head and make sure we check out the color and everything like that. So there we go. So we got that. So great carbonation, as you can see. Uh, probably a about the same color as the uh, Florida Cracker, which is their other Belgian wit. Um, now this is, a, the difference th that I've seen so far, okay, is the, um, the, the um, Florida Cracker was at 5.5% alcohol by volume, and this is 6%. So there's a half a percent difference in alcohol by volume. And I believe, I haven't had it in a while, the Florida Cracker, but this appears to be possibly a little bit more cloudy uh, in there. Um, there's uh, definitely something to that uh, cloudiness. Um, so uh, interesting, interesting. So let's go ahead, let's smell it. Smells a lot like the, the Florida Cracker as far as the smell. You get the coriander, uh, citrus. The citrus is like a orange peel. Uh, smells good though. Um, so uh, let's waste no time. Let's go ahead and dig into this. Now, I believe, and, and I, I, just from a guess, it almost see, seems like there's some residual yeast that's uh, in this beer. So I wonder if this is gonna have a little bit more of the Belgian yeast in it. Um, just, just from looking at it, uh, there's like swirls within the beer, which is interesting. Um, so let's waste our time, let's dig in. All right, so I do get the taste of the Belgian yeast. Um, probably a little bit more than I do in the Florida Cracker, um, but it's very similar. Um, the other thing I'm getting a little bit more of uh, maybe a fruit presence, like the, um, maybe that's why the alcohol is a little bit, a little bit higher because it's got a little bit more of that uh, um, uh, presence of the, the fruit flavor. Um, but overall, excellent. Um, would I say it's as good as the Florida cracker, which I've always been a fan of the, the, um, cigar city, Florida cracker. Um, I would say it's every bit as good. I, it might even be better. I don't know. What we might have to do to see if I really, which one I really like better, is to maybe have one of each of them side by side and tell, because to me, they're they're very um, similar beers. Uh, I would not say, like, if I drank this and didn't know this was frost proof and thought it was a cigar, uh, it was a uh, um, Florida cracker, I probably wouldn't know the difference. The only two differences that I can think of that, I, that kind of stand out to me and this is just, you know, in my mind, is that there were the swirls of the uh, 
the residual yeast, and I, that made me think that there was just a little bit more of that uh, Belgian yeast um, in there, and then just a little bit stronger on the fruit presence. So, to me, the Florida Cracker never had a strong fruit presence, and not that this one has a super strong, but it's just, a, I think, a little bit more than the Florida Cracker. Both beers I love. Um, I've gone through several kegs of the, um, the Florida Cracker, um, so I might look for this in the future and uh, go through a keg of this and see, uh, see if I like it as much. I think I do. Um, it's very similar beer, very tasty. Uh, Cigar City, great brewery, absolutely great brewery. So the difference is, you know, half a percent of alcohol and maybe a little bit more uh, yeast uh, and uh, maybe a, just a touch more of the uh, whatever the citrus flavoring, or, you know, flavor that, that's going into that um, when they're making it. But I'm telling you, great beer. Uh, just like all Cigar City beers. Actually, I don't think I've had a, really a Cigar City beer that I didn't like. Even ones that I thought that I wouldn't like, I've liked. So uh, definitely a great brewery. So check it out. Mm. Fantastic. And it's very drinkable also, just so you know. One of those that's refreshing, yet full flavored. I give it a th thumbs up. Maybe a double thumbs up we'll give it, okay? Uh, 86 out of 100 all day long. I think the uh, Cigar City uh, Florida Cracker was 84. They're giving this an 86. I'd give them both an 86, you know, in my book. But what do I know, right? Uh, anyway, if you've enjoyed this, make sure you tell your friends about beer issues and how much fun we're having talking about great beer and drinking great beer. And if you uh, they want any cool beer issues gear, like beer issues, hats, uh, t-shirts, phone cases, you name it, uh, go to shop.beerissues.com. And as my wife likes to say, I have beer issues. <laughs>